quality assurance company is pulling out of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline project over concerns about U.S. sanctions. DNVGL says it's winding down its verification support for the Russian-led consortium following new U.S. legislation passed last week. The 9.5 billion euro project will run under the Baltic Sea and double Russian gas exports to Germany. But the U.S. is concerned Europe is too dependent on Moscow for its energy needs and claims the new pipeline could allow Russia to cut off supplies for political reasons. With more on the future of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline, I'm joined now by Dr. Thomas O'Donnell of the Hertie School of Governance in Berlin. Thanks very much for speaking with us. When we last spoke to you two weeks ago, you warned and predicted that US sanctions could be the death knell of this project. Is that what we're seeing here with this Norwegian company pulling out? Uh, it certainly does seem so, Ali. Um, thank, uh, thank you for having me on again. Um, as I said um, that time, uh, last time, last I spoke with you, um, one aspect of the new sanctions, they're very harsh sanctions that the United States uh, Senate, uh, the United States Congress has put on. This is bipartisan in the United States. It doesn't depend on administration. One thing is to go after the company that certifies the installation of the pipeline and also after insurance companies. Now, without a recognized international uh, certification company such as um, DNVGL, it's very difficult to see how this can be done. The Danish um, regulators, much of this pipeline has to be about 100 and something kilometers, has to be laid in deep water over 100, uh, over 30 meters deep. And the Danes have required in the permitting for this uh, pipeline that this particular company's certification and, and standards be used. So that's where it stands. In principle, it should be impossible to go forward. Now, we know the Russians, of course, want to go forward, and the German government is deeply, um, uh, is deeply dedicated to going forward. And so they undoubtedly will try to come up with other organizations that maybe are not so recognized internationally and will try various things. This is, this is not over. It's going to be a fight to the finish. But uh, in principle, these sanctions should kill the pipeline. So that's one company that's gone. Is it likely we're going to see other companies follow suit because they're also scared of being hit by U.S. sanctions? No, a absolutely. First of all, over the last month, uh, actually beginning in early, in, well, in November, my understanding is tens of German firms, smaller, medium-sized firms, were, had very unpleasant phone calls from American officials. You might never hear about the fact that somebody decides to just walk away from this project. Now, if companies actually go out there and try to lay pipe, then they will be sanctioned. There is a process that will be gone through. Most companies, as soon as they get these phone calls, they simply say, no, I don't want my bank account frozen, and I don't want my visas taken away, I don't want my company to be forced into bankruptcy, and they leave. But, of course, the Russians are trying to set up companies. There are all these mailbox, postal box companies that are very difficult to follow, and they will keep trying to do things just to get this to get this finished, so it'll be a knockdown, dragout fight, and it gets a little bit, uh, it gets a little bit intense. It's, it is quite intense between the German side, uh, the German diplomats, the German officials, and the American officials. It's between these allies. Thomas O'Donnell joining us here from Berlin. Do keep an eye out on this story. We certainly will be, and we'll hopefully speak to you again in the future. Very good. I'm here. <laughs> Hauliers are slowly adapting to the new customs arrangements in place following the implementation of the Brexit trade agreement. But some